Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for my top five pens of 2019. Um, so these are the top five pens that I picked up this year that I've used and enjoyed the most. Um, without further ado, because I know you're probably either hungover or drunk, let's go ahead and get started. Number five. This is the Natuno 1911 Black Sands. It's a really, really cool pen from a relatively new company, um, Natuno, and it's it's kind of odd. Um, I, I've historically had an issue with expensive steel nibs, but I actually three pens on this list are expensive steel nib pens. Um, there is a bit of an exception there, and that's when they're done really, really well, because I've had some expensive steel nibs that suck. Uh, this is one of the ones that is, is pretty good. Um, it's not the best nib that I've ever used, um, but it, it's pretty solid. A little feedback out of the box, I just moved it out, but there's a lot of things I like about this pen. The main one's going to be the fit and finish and the design. It's just it's just super, super attractive. Like that clip, accent there, you know, all the trim and everything on here, and the little etching in the barrel, it's kind of vintage styled. Um, I really, really like that a lot. On to number four. Um, should have known a Twisby was going to be on this list, right? So this is the Twisby 580 ALR in purple. Um, I really like the 580 AL. That's very well known amongst you guys. But the ALR does a few things different that I really like. Um, one, the color matching is much more prominent on the cap um, there and there, and then on the piston ring, as well as having a grooved section, which this is going to look kind of gross because a lot of dead skin in there, but you get the gist of it. It gives you a better grip, and to me it's even more comfortable than the 580 um, already was, and the 580 is one of my favorite pens, so this just is a, a better version of the 580, and I, I, I love it to death. Um, it's seen a lot of carry, a lot of use, and um, I'll try to have a review of this coming up soon if I haven't done it already. It's hard to remember at this point. Next up, the most recent pen acquisition I think I have. This is the Faber-Castell E-Motion Pure Black. I picked this up from True Fae. Um, True Fae pens, along with the uh, Natuno 1911, I picked that up from there as well. Um, they're a really, really cool pen store. You should definitely check them out. But um, I picked this up from them a couple weeks ago. After having tried it at the Atlanta Pen Show last year, I believe, I was really, really impressed. So, you know, I figured why not? I'll go ahead and take a look at it, and I love it. Um, the fit and finish is really, really good on this. Um, I have enough matte black pens, I know. But I needed this one really, really bad. Um, the the nib on this is amazing. Not necessarily look wise, the cheese grater thing doesn't really do it for me. But writing wise, it's it's very, very, very good. Um, these pens are a little expensive depending on where you get them um, for a steel nib. But they're very, very well built. They're very comfortable to write with. The only real issue is the nib looks kind of funny on there. But it's 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 been an absolute pleasure to use and carry. I'm really kicking myself for not having bought one earlier. There's a few tiny issues with it, but for the most part, it's it's just an absolutely fantastic, durable, rugged pen. Speaking of durable and rugged, number two, um, this is also a recent uh, recent pen. This was actually sent to me. I I asked to. Uh, check this out because it's the first fountain pen in a long time that has excited me this is the big idea design um, pocket pen ultra I believe yeah titanium ultra it, it's it's a um, it's it's a really really cool little fountain pen not little it's pretty big and it's not just a fountain pen that's the cool part so when you buy this pen you actually you you do get a titanium nib the uh, pen is also titanium which is really cool and unique um, but you get a titanium nib. However, you also, in the box, if the pen wouldn't roll, um, you do get a bunch of accessories along with a steel nib to swap out with if you prefer steel nibs, and a rollerball slash ballpoint section that fits literally any refill that any any refill that I've tried so far. Um, I haven't had a single refill not work in this pen out of, out of all the ones that I've tried. So it's it's a great, super versatile, super interesting pen. Um, I have a few quibbles with it for sure that are going to be coming up um, in the review of it. But it's a very exciting pen. And if you're looking for something that can kind of do everything, I, I can 
I can testify this is this is pretty good. There will be a review of this coming up soon for sure. But this is the first fountain pen in a really, really long time that has really got me going. And it's it's for good reason. It's it's an amazing pen. Uh, a good attempt. And I think with some revision, it could be damn near perfect. Let's go ahead and go on to number one. Um, so again, this is purely my opinion. Most of you probably saw this one coming for sure. But it's hands down the best fountain pen that I've ever used. Um, it's the Conid Antwerpen Bulk Filler. This pen is gorgeous. Love it to death, but the writing experience is, is amazing as well. So you can see um, it uses this kind of cool material that's used a lot in uh, knife handles actually called Juma. It's a type of uh, plastic resin, whatever you want to call it. Um, it gives a lot of really cool effect and kind of like a, uh, a scale pattern to it. Um, especially right here, it looks like the underside of a snake's belly, if you've ever looked at that. Um, they do have it in a mostly clear barrel as well, and that's because this uses Conid's bulk filler, which is an absolutely insane filling mechanism. Um, I can give you a quick demonstration here. Basically, you unscrew this, and it's, it's not a vacuum knob. It is a knob that you can kind of see here. It actually retracts, you lock it into the piston, and then it becomes a piston filler. Um, it's it's really, really crazy. It's really bizarre. And after you get the hang of it, it's it's pretty cool to use, and it holds a ton of ink. Um, the grip section on this is just about the perfect size. Um, it's a very, very smooth transition here. They, they've really thought a lot about this pen. And this nib, despite being a steel nib, is one of the best I've ever tried, if not the best I've ever tried. Um, it's it's amazing. It really, really is. For the price, it's it's ridiculous. Um, I don't think this pen is necessarily a good value because of what you're getting doesn't add up to the cost uh, for me. But it's it's crazy. It's a really, really good writer. It's a beautiful, beautiful pen. And even though I was on the fence about it for a long time, I don't think I regret buying it at all. Um, and I do think it's going to be staying in the collection. So just to recap, at number one, we have the Colnid Bulk Filler Antwerp Pen. At number two, we have the Big Idea Design Tie Ultra Pen. At number three, we have the Faber-Castell Emotion Pure Black. Number four, the Twisby 580 ALR in purple. And number five, the Natuno 1911 Black Sands. So all of these pens, none of them are just mediocre. All of them are absolutely fantastic for various reasons, whether it be, you know, the appearance, the nib, the innovation, the iteration, or the design. It's All of these have, have really, really impressed me over the past year. And it it takes a lot to do that nowadays for me. Um, I've, I've handled and used a lot of pens, and I can honestly say that if you picked up any of these, I don't think you would be disappointed at all. Um, I would love to know your top five for the year, uh, it, whether it be pens that you've got this year or just your overall top five that you've used this year. Please let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for new stuff to pick up, new stuff to check out, and I love interacting with you guys. Um, Anyway, thank you for watching my channel. You know, this year, if you've subscribed, all that stuff, thank you so, so much. Um, I wouldn't still be making this, these videos if it weren't for y'all. I know it's the pace has slowed down a little bit. Um, just had a lot of life stuff going on, but I'm trying to still crank these out as much as I can. And I, I genuinely hope that you all enjoy this content. Thank you all for supporting me over the past year. Even if you're just watching this video, thank you for that. You know, um, and I hope you all have a wonderful new year. I hope this decade is better than the last. It's been a little rough. Um, but I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye.